<laughs> I got <laughs> I got a good one to make you laugh. When I was a kid, I'm gonna say this is probably about 1975. I was 12 years old. Anyway, <laughs> it was on a Sunday. Now back then, Dad smoked. It was on a Sunday, and it, for some reason, he didn't buy no cigarettes. I don't know if uh, you know. Mom said, well, "Why didn't you get them?" You know, yesterday we went shopping. For some reason, he forgot them. I don't know why. But anyway, must have had his mind on a million things. But it was on a Sunday. He's out of cigarettes. You ever been? You you ever been? You ever been around anybody like that? They they get real hateful. Anyway, so he calls up here. Every store was closed. Or uh, uh, he, I know he he smoked Lucky Strike. That's what it was. And I, if by by the, uh, he called local, they, no one had them. There's out of them, I believe, or no one had them. He even called the Loveland stores. Calls up here to Lebanon, they have them. Yeah, he drives 20 miles. That's 40 mile round trip just for cigarettes. Well, anyway, he gets into Lebanon, and I think for, he's uh, they close uh, they, for some reason they close in a row. They close like five o'clock. He got a late start, and he wouldn't go make it up or he wouldn't going to make it up here in time. So he's uh, he's breaking a speed limit. I think he's hit 80, 90, maybe 100 miles an hour. You know, that's how addicted the cigarettes are. I mean, he's getting ready to close, and he was flying up there. And as he passes one, uh, uh, you know, he's he's on, he's not on the expressway, but I, that road ahead to Lebanon. Anyway, as he passes the, uh, uh, if he goes under uh, a bridge or whatever, he was thinking real quick, did I just see a state trooper? And he, Dad's new, and he's probably doing nearly 100 miles an hour himself. He looks through his rearview mirror and sees those blue lights. He said, damn. <laughs> so Dad guns it even harder. <laughs> he's like, I got to get it. I got to get right. I got to get away, away from the SOB. <laughs> Dad looks... Looks in the rear, rear, rear view mirror. <laughs> he said, "He said, God, he was you know when he first seen him, he seen a little blue light bubble, real small. Looks the looks through the rear view mirror again, and a state trooper is more than a third on him. He, he keeps he keeps the engine gun. Looks <laughs> looks through the rear view mirror again. <laughs> the state trooper is over halfway on him. Holy shit." <laughs> He looks through <laughs> he looks through the rear view mirror again and the state trooper is pulling him over. State trooper gets out and you know uh don't test doesn't take him to jail but writes him one hell of a ticket. And dad looks at the state trooper, he says, That's a fat blankety blank. He says, That's the fastest damn uh, state uh, uh, police cruiser I've ever seen. Well dad I think goes to court I think he goes to court the same day to pay the fine or the I can't remember back in the seventies it was different. Or, or, or maybe, uh, I forget, but he meets that same state trooper in the courthouse, yeah, and ends up talking to him for two hours. Real nice guy, but Dad says, I've never told that state trooper when he first pulled him over, walked up to him. Dad says, I've never seen a damn police cruiser move so fast in all my days. <laughs> Dad said that was the most expensive pair of cigarettes, most expensive pack of cigarettes he's ever bought.